we're going to go over importing, categorizing, and approving of transactions. This will be the most frequent activity that you're doing in YNAB, probably the most important as you go forward in YNAB. This is the data collection stage. It is a garbage in, garbage out thing. If you are not diligent about importing and categorizing properly and approving your transactions, eventually it will just become a mess and there's, there's really no uh, benefit out of doing it. So it is important that you do this. I would recommend doing it on a daily basis, um, optimally, maybe every few days, if you must wait a few days, but I wouldn't give it much more than that. Eventually it ends up becoming kind of overwhelming because you'll have 25, 30, 50 transactions to do if you wait too long and it just gets to be overwhelming. If there's something wrong, it can be hard to figure out what the deal is, why are my balances wrong. So I would say just the more frequently you can come in here and do these, the better. Um, so I would recommend, like I said, daily, maybe every other day or every three days at the least to come in here and uh, manage your transactions. Depending on how active you are, I suppose, but most people use their cards pretty frequently or buying things most of the time. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is when you first come in, I'm actually on this, um, I'm list, I have my accounts listed here, checking, savings, credit. You'll notice there are two uh, dots really next to each one, really indicating that I have transactions that I need to import. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm actually going to just go and import these first. I just like doing all of them first just to import them. So I'm going to go ahead and come here. I'm going to import this transaction too. And you'll see that now I have some transactions, brand new transactions in here that need to be, in this case, just categorized. But it has the date already, it has the payee, where the money went, There's it's missing a category, there's no memo line, it's an outflow of $3.98, and that's it. What this actually is, I'm kind of glad this is the first one, because it sometimes will trip people up, is this is actually payment from this checking account to this credit card account. So, it's actually a transfer between accounts, which I'm going to go into in just a second, but I'm going to just imagine this was a normal, let's say this was a grocery store. What I would do is I'd come in here, no, I need to categorize this. I'd click on this. I would go through my categories. YNAB has a template that they've already set up that has a number of kind of typical categories. You can actually change this. We're going to go into this quite a bit when we go through the actual budget tab on the left-hand side, but for now, uh, you would just pick whichever category is in here that you think best represents what this is. Pick your category. Let's imagine this was groceries, let's say. Uh, I'm going to put groceries, and then I would just approve it. And it would show up like this. It's not bolded anymore. Uh, this orange field is gone. It's pretty much set up. That one's done. It's not actually groceries. I'm going to change this. And what normally trips people up is in this case anyways. Like I said, this is just a... a transfer from this checking to this credit to pay it off. So the way it will end up tripping people up is it will come through, it'll look something like this, and it'll say, oh, this is a payment, an outflow of $3.98, and this will say that it's an inflow of $3.98, but it's not going to connect that $3.98 came from my checking and went to my credit card. So I need to establish that link myself. So what I need to do is on really either or, because it's going to pick up after I change this that it came from the other account is. I'm actually going to come to this payee, and if I click on payee, it's going to pop up and say payments and transfers, and I can actually pick that it's a payment to the credit card. If I click this, it's going to gray this out because it doesn't need a category because it's just a transfer between accounts. And then I'm going to hit save, and you'll see that it will show up over here as a payment from the checking account. So it's an inflow payment from my checking account. In this case, all I need to do is just approve it. And this shows up as a chain link because it linked the previous transaction towards this one that I just did. And it's just linking the two transactions that they're kind of one and the same. I just need to approve it like this. And there we go. So now I had a transaction come in. It was a payment from the checking account to the credit card account. And I just changed the payee as a payment to credit card, and this one showed up as a payment from the checking as an inflow, if you can see that. So then going forward, I'll have more transactions in here. I think the plan is for me to just, I'm going to spend on this credit card and then this checking account kind of around town, do some things just to give some examples. I just don't have anything in here just yet. When I do, I'll go through some more 
um, transactions. But that's really the gist. You could have, I could put a manual in here, you can see what it looks like, and just say, I could say Publix, let's say. If I wanted to put something here as an example, I could put groceries and $25. So now I have a Publix transaction for groceries, and it's an outflow of $25. And that's it. Normally, I'd have these would come in. I would be importing these from my bank, and they would show up. I'd have Publix and the Shell Station, gas, different things like that. And then I'd be basically just doing the same thing, making sure that the category was, was proper, and then just making sure everything's right about this. That's how you'd import and categorize. We'll go through this in quite a bit more detail, especially as I get more transactions in here over the course of time, uh, but that's that.